all right all right all right so this is a viewer's request um I know her name starts with, I think it's uh, Dior Dimples. or No, it's Dimples Dior. She requested this, I want to say, maybe two, almost three weeks ago when I was under the weather. And um, my apologies, it took me a while to get around to this reading. When I first tapped in on the energy for Alexis Ware, felt a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of racing thoughts, almost felt like a panic attack. She was definitely in the energy of constant frantic worry. Um, I don't know who she was trying to avoid, but it felt like she needed to look over her shoulder or she felt that she did and it was very very intense so i had to tap out of her energy and give it a minute so that i could gather myself because i mean when i tell you heart racing it, it was just heart pound and everything just adrenaline on a thousand and it was the first time I ever felt somebody's energy that consistently felt that way. And I, I was trying to see what the energy was around her. The, I want to say the, the, within like 72 hours before she disappeared. Um, spiritually, she was tapped into some things that I feel like um, she didn't really know full heartedly what she was dealing with. She was new to, you know, um, the type of spiritualism that she was tapping into at the time. Not that she didn't know anything about spiritualism, but it's different for someone to have knowledge of certain things versus becoming a practitioner of things. And I feel like she was working in the, um, working in the energy of trying to become a practitioner of some sorts, or, you know, um, even if it was just for her own things. So I don't know what she was trying to bind because she she was she was trying to bind and block something and it was just like she couldn't focus her energy and that's a that's another thing for people to be able to do that kind of work you have to be able to set your intention and focus on the intention and it just didn't feel like she could really focus on whatever she needed to focus on because she was so you know um not even just emotional, she was just so anxious. So that was the initial energy that I got. Um, I don't even know how she slept as anxious as she was. I, I would not be surprised to find out that she was having trouble with insomnia or um, just sleepless, you know, resting, but like restless type sleep. Whew. Um, I've already prayed, did whatever I needed to do, and I'm not going to make this one long, but if need be, I will do, you know, a part two. I just want to be able to tap into this energy and see what I can get. Um, Before I even touch these cards, I can tell you right now that she didn't have um, good luck with the men that she was romantically dealing with in her life or had dealt with romantically in her life. It almost felt like she felt like she was a magnet for... Um, 
whatever this negative energy was, it's a possibility and maybe she was trying to learn how to be a practitioner because she felt like something was on her and she was trying to be proactive to remove things from her life and to bind things that she saw as negative, but she didn't have the ability to do so because she just, her energy was so scattered. It was so all over the place with anxiety, but she was fixed and focused on an outdated exit. Um, that's the initial energy that I get. King of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Empress. Um, whoever this King of Wands is, is somebody fixed and focused on, um, I don't know if it's like trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents or trying to use her to get unearned income. So it could have been possible that a man that she had dated or possibly had children with was somehow some way using her for some kind of financial gain. So whoever this man is that she was dealing with, they could have possibly roped her into something that she couldn't quite tell people she was involved in. But it definitely was for profit. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Show me the energy around Alexis Ware during the day of her disappearance. Um, I can already tell you guys, I feel like a tension headache coming on um, mid forehead, behind the eyes. I feel very tired. So I think I'm on to something when I say she had problems with sleeping and being restless. Yeah, ten of ten of pentacles, ace of cups. Okay, ace of cups doesn't just represent love; it also represents abundance. So, what that feels like to me is uh, she was roped into something that was supposed to be fruitful and um, something that was gonna make everything financially sound for her and her family, possibly her and her children. This was supposed to be a major payout. And like I said, whoever she was involved with, whoever it was that she was involved with, roped her into this through a possible romantic relationship. And they, they saw this as abundance. She saw this as love, but she was willing to give something a try or dabble in something that would bring a major payout. This is what it was supposed to do. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. This feels very pimps up, hose down. But it feels like a bait and switch. It does not feel like it turned out to be what she thought it was going to be going into this such said opportunity oh yeah this wasn't what she appeared this wasn't what she thought it was going to be okay you see this five of cups this is deep regret shame remorse attached to whatever this working opportunity was eight of pentacles this is this feels like this is another reason why she wanted to leave, why she wanted to escape. Now I told you she was off into some the um, secret things, some occult things. Okay. Also, this other line of work was not known to people. Somebody was gang stalking and watching her. And I keep this keeps going back to money. This was big money, money, and the chariot. 
Okay, chariot is forward movement. Um, I don't know if somebody was watching her because they were watching the money. But somebody, this feels like somebody figured out that she wanted to leave or that she was going to leave. And they were concerned about losing, you know, whatever they were supposed to be gaining out of her or from her. Five of Wands. Listen. Before I go any further, this reading is, um, all of my readings are for entertainment purposes only, but see this? Five of Wands. There was a fight. There was some kind of conflict, some kind of way with a lover. Mm -mm. Secret, the moon. That, that literally hopped up and it jumped out the deck and went back. This is a secret. There was a conflict. Somebody had put hands on her. There was harsh communication of arguing of some kind. I'm telling you, she was very afraid. This is some, she's a, whoever this is, and it keeps going back to this King of Wands. This person had to be very tumultuous and violent because, I mean, she's, the energy I'm feeling is like she shakes like a leaf on a tree, almost like somebody who flinches because they, you know, they're used to being hit. This is, ooh, this is sad. The wheel. Okay, the cycle came to an end. And this was supposed to be good energy for her because this is in the upright. Cycle in her life came to an end with this family unit. That looks like mother, mother, father, child. So allegedly it looks like there was smoke in the city between her and one of her children's father. And this person did not like her separating from them or separating from the relationship. Okay, the Empress. Um, yeah, she was she was seen as abundant to whoever this lover was. I don't know if she could have possibly been pregnant when she left, and this could be a new child's father or if this is an existing child's father. But you see the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles to the Empress. She was abundant. She was very fruitful and she was abundant. Okay, family card comes out, the 10 of uh, cups. So we got five of cups. She was very regretful and remorseful over this violent energy that was attached to her family unit, allegedly. And I, I just said she had issues with trying to sleep. She had heavy anxiety. No rest for the weary, no rest for the wicked. Something was keeping her up. That, that also adds to anxiety because if you don't sleep for a certain amount of time, it causes a mental breakdown. It, it causes um, psychosis when you go without sleep for a while. So she could have been talking in a way that seemed strange to people, seemed like she was hallucinating. It's because she couldn't sleep. Okay. You got High Priestess, Eight of Pentacles, which is work. Five of Swords, High Priestess. Now, I just said that she was dealing with something in divination, but she was not 
well versed in what she was doing and this is looking like she is saying that somebody that she had conflict with put put root work down on her and this is why she was involved in such said energy to um involve herself with trying to become a practitioner i knew i was picking up on this some she felt like you know her moving on her clearing and cleansing herself spiritually was going to bring happier times the sun So a choice had to be made. And as you can see, she chose what was best for her. She was going to go ahead and move forward with her choice. She was strong in her convictions. You know, she was at the point where she was saying what she meant and she was meaning what she was saying. She was sticking to her guns. Like if she, you know, in the past would go back, she was no longer going back whomever this was she was no longer going back everything was up from here it was all supposed to work out for the better this choice was going to be you know her saving grace oh wow bottom of the deck death like i said this reading is for entertainment purposes only listen you see this emperor and this candle is over here jumping honey um you got the will of fortune which means a cycle came to an end for this empress on this family unit um there was secret knowledge and things that were not known or is not known to the public about the emperor who is also the father of tarot or somebody who is a domineering controlling person or an aries or possibly all three allegedly the alchemist you see this the magician there is manipulation and there is trickery in this story and somebody's definitely switching around some of these facts like musical chairs mm. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. That's weird. First time I ever had cards flip like that and land on my arm of my seat. It was a wish fulfillment for this cycle to come to an end. Um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like finally um, there was money issues, lots of money problems. Um, then she was coming out of those money problems because whatever this possible secret hustle profession was was giving her enough to move on with the, her new life now i said that enough was enough she had had enough she no longer wanted to play around in this energy with this ten of cups with this person who possibly was fighting her this person who had her in deep heavy sorrow deep heavy sorrow and regret um she's she's saying enough is enough with that she was standing up for herself um six of wands she was going oh six of wands to the eight of wands she was going to move forward victoriously she was going to move forward very swiftly almost like a thief in the night she had planned to leave with, wherever she was supposed to go she was leaving immediately there was not going to be much time Queen of Wands. Okay, this vivacious woman, this woman who commanded attention, she was fixed and focused on moving forward on what she wants to do because the King and Queen of Wands are very focused. They don't stop until they get what they want. So it was a definite thing that she was moving forward. Um, the Star to the Chariot. That's contract negotiations and agreement and moving forward. So she possibly had like signed another lease or something or went into an agreement that was going to help her move somewhere else but it was all coming about let's see yeah moving forward towards victory and yeah you just saw me shuffle this okay six 
and the Eight of Wands. Moving forward towards victory and trying to do it as swiftly as possible. I don't think she wanted this emperor, whoever this was, this, um, this person who was very controlling. I don't think she wanted them to know that she was leaving. That's why she's trying to move as swiftly as possible. Um, Three of Pentacles. This is uh, working together with somebody, um, working in a group to accomplish something. So there's, it's very possible that there were two people that were very instrumental in helping her to do this. My spirit guys were saying somebody talked too much. They, somebody talked too much. Somebody said something that alerted the attention of somebody that she did not want to know that she was making this, this run for it. Yeah, the devil came out at the bottom of the deck. There was a lot of toxic, chaotic energy, okay? A lot of toxic energy. Um, Seven of Cups, she or whoever this is could have been indulging in um, possible um, libations or you know, uh, drugs possibly, which also, depending on what it is, can keep you from sleeping or cause you to have a psychotic episode. I just feel like she was trying her best to hold it together and she was losing herself. See this? The lovers. Bottom of the deck. Heartbreak. She was, she was facing a lot. She was facing a lot. Whatever was going on with these relationships, things were not working out the way they were supposed to. Like, everything was moving in the right direction with the will of fortune and the upright, and then boom, something happened, and it brought everything to an end. That cycle came to an end. Once again, brought that heavy regret due to whoever this was. Somebody was, if they weren't currently fighting her when she disappeared, this is somebody who used to fight her. This is somebody that was considered family or somebody she had family with, and she said enough is enough. She was no longer going to allow them to do her that way. She was considering her options on everything she needed to do, but I also feel like she was indulging too. But she had it fixed in her mind. She, she was leaving. No matter what, she was leaving. But heartbreak came when she tried to leave. Six of Swords to Judgment. Somebody inflicted judgment on her because they did not approve of her trying to leave. See that? Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is the card of truth. Ten of Swords to the Page of Pentacles. She was set up for, you know, somebody's somebody's possible financial gain or new financial opportunity, somebody's money was messed up. And they felt like her leaving was going to take money or take opportunities away from them. They were going to lose something by her leaving. Listen. Eight of Swords. Look at this. My cards are never in my deck in reverse. You see that? The Eight of Swords in reverse and death. This is like being being freed, finally no longer being bound by the end of a transition. Seven of Wands. See this? It came out in reverse. She tried to stand her ground, but it didn't work. So I'm going to tap out of this energy because it's very heavy. If I need to come back, I most definitely will. I just want to cleanse the energy around me because... um. Oh, Jesus. This this was very, very heavy. She, she was trying her best, trying her damnedest to get away from a situation. But she had issues that people didn't know about. 
And it's like a solution to a problem to help her get away from her initial problem became a new problem. So, our prayers out to Alexis Ware and her family. Keep her children in your prayers. And hopefully, the authorities can really get to the bottom of what happened to her. Because the what I'm seeing is the story that is around how she left and why she disappeared does not feel like what's being said um is certain things that i do don't get no accident in front of my house yeah certain things that are being said about what happened that are definitely not true so they need to really re-examine that last day before she went missing because i feel like it's something that literally is like a road flare is standing out something crazy and it seems simplistic but it's literally it's it's literally the piece that they need to unravel everything else poverty i told you somebody felt like they were going to lose something if she leaves you see how it says thoughts and you see this man is thinking and this woman is heavy on his mind. He's thinking about what he's going to lose if she leaves. I don't know if this is like child support or what. Listen, I said it. Child support. The court. Unexpected income. Once she got to where? Her new house. Couldn't let her get to the new house. Allegedly. And all these thoughts were running through this person's mind. Something, I don't know. I don't know if something happened at the house. But see, the message of concern, I feel like there, there's a major gap in this story. On the distant horizon, bad health, adjudication and despair. So, hold on. Okay, see this? Major horizon, bad health. Or distant horizon bad health. Where the hell did I get that one from? Distant horizon bad health. Bad, bottom of the deck adjudication and despair. Um, somebody's afraid of something coming out and going before the court. Message of concern. We could possibly be hearing, oh, oh yeah, official person at the bottom of the deck. We could possibly be hearing about a break in the development of this case. I'm not going to say there's going to be something major, but it's a possibility that either, I don't see her case is closed. I feel like um, it's going to feel like it's being reopened or it's going to be um, given the once over and looked over again. And it's something that's going to possibly spark the interest of the justice department is whatever it is is enough to bring it before either an adjudicator or before law enforcement to revise the the investigation the coffin high honors the false person great fortune imprisonment and despair at the bottom of the deck so mature woman um i don't know what a mature woman has to do with this possibly a mother or an older woman that knows more than what she's saying but people whoever this is they're worried about 
the truth of the matter coming out because they know that this person could end up going before the judge, going to trial. Um, somebody close to her knows exactly what happened. They know the full story. And I don't know who this is, but you're not going to be able to hold it or hide it for too much longer. So I'm going to tap out because I meant to just wrap this up a few minutes ago, but I'm going to tap out because the energy is very heavy. I want to cleanse the spiritual energy around me. And um, yeah, this is my spiritual tap in on Alexis Ware. And I just, I pray for her children and I wish everybody involved justice so that we can get the truth about what happened to Alexis. And these babies can, you know, they can grow up knowing the truth, no matter how, you know, awful it is, it still feels better to have closure. And right now, it's, it's like the family is being robbed of knowing if she's safe and if she's okay, or knowing if they need to just have closure. So I'm praying that whatever needs to happen happens with this case soon because there is <laughs> there's a lot of violent energy that was around her and it was connected to her by the men that she had been in relationship with or men that she had considered family or a particular man that she considered family Thank you, Dimples Dior, for your request, sweetheart. And I hope that um, this reading was able to shed light on this for you. And once again, my apologies, it took so long, but I had to really tap out to get my head together because her thoughts in that space of time, in that energy she was in, it was so aggressively anxious that I could feel the anxiety physically and I had to you know I had to tap out and put a, a really strong hedge of protection around myself and ask for my angels to really 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 uh, step up and remove the feeling of that energy so I'm going to wrap it up here. And yes, that was my reading on Alexis Ware. I, I hope that they're able to get to the bottom of this very soon because this is messed up. There's somebody very close to her that knows the whole entire story and they've been playing in everybody's face this whole time. My name is Angel Kisses the Oracle and this is my reading on Alexis Ware. This reading has been adjourned.